this week on Not Your Average Fangirls. I'm going to forget Spanish in the middle. Like, oh, oh God. Oh, God. You're going to be like, oh, hola. Uh, hola. <laughs> hey, Migo. Her Spanish accent is suddenly going to go away. <laughs> hey, Guanil. Guanil. <laughs> The Supreme Taman returns with his third album. G Friend puts a disco twist on Witches and don't hit that snooze button because we're definitely simping over Lucy yet again. Check it out. What is up, you guys? It is Not Your Average Fangirls here with another week of K Popness. It's your girl Kat, and I had dreams about G Friend's comeback. I know. Ooh, you're right. right. I did. Amazing. Hey, guys, it's Cynthia, and um, me and Carolina got into the Lucy fan sign. <laughs> Yes! Oh my god! I'm already manifest manifesting that me, Carolina, Cynthia, and Carolina are gonna get into the next. And one. Carolina, wait, twice. wait, and Erica. Erica. Yeah, Erica. I just that's that's oh. the way my life is set up. I don't even get <laughs> mentioned. It's fine. I'm so sorry. I told you I just woke up. I'm totally discombobulated. Right? Now. It's not you, girl. It's the universe. That's just how it is. No. <laughs> the universe. We're manifesting that all four of us get into the next. One. Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, I mean, I don't have any exciting news like that, but I have started my <laughs> Hindri and Yang Yang and Do Young photo card collection. Oh my god! <laughs> and a year ago today is the year one year anniversary of the Dream Show. Yay! Yay! The one with oh the protests god. outside? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> that was at the uh, music festival. But like their actual concert Dream Show, it's been a year. But that was wild. And fun fact, it wasn't actually during their performance. It was during their um, rehearsal. Yeah, it's just funny. Still funny. It looks like it's during the show. It was hilarious, <laughs> but also slightly terrifying because I didn't know what was going on. So, like, I was scared that, like, we might get shot because, you know, I'm from America. But then, like, I was also crying because I was actually getting to see Dream Live. So I just... I guess if I was going to go out, that was a good way to go out. You're right. You're right. And hello, everybody. This is Carolina. Like Cynthia said, we got into the Lucy fan side. I'm just, I'm just so excited. Um, Free game beforehand. Oh, my God. And with that being said, when we get the albums, is anybody interested in buying Lucy (laughs) albums? We will have some. So, and we'll pick out, you know, the different photo cards so you can pick out your bias. Like, we got you. We got you. Yes, I would like uh, saying up. Thank you. <laughs> she says that as if we don't know who her bias is, as if we don't have <laughs> one member each. It's fine. But let's get into this week. Um, we got some good, we got some bad, you know, the usual. Uh, for example, Stray Kids and BTS won awards at the MTV EMAs. Woo! Like, we knew they were. I mean, we knew BTS was going to win, but I did not see Stray Kids winning. But yes. But I'm here for it. Straight kids. Boom, 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 boom. Honestly, I love that. Mama, take a hint from MTV. Because why is Straight Kids not nominated for anything in Mama? Why? After God's why? Menu. Back door. Oh, wait, they didn't get like a single nomination? I thought they got one. Yeah, like a fan, like a fan choice one. Which is yeah. like, oh, no. ridiculous. Like giving everybody an award. Oh, no. Yep, exactly. They put the same people again, even though the same people have not done the same thing every year. But but we already know that BTS is going to win everything, so, like, what's the point? But, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> remember, when, remember when back in the day that was not the case? Wow, I love this. We love this so much. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> As the resident big hit stan, here I am. <laughs> Who I knows? They're trying to kiss SM's ass, so they're probably going to give them some awards here and there. But it better be like, it better make sense. You're right. And other news, Minho is released. Yeah, He is free. He's not happy about it, but he's free. He's not happy <laughs> yes. about it. I'm so like seeing those videos of him driving away <laughs> and all this stuff. I'm like, finally, finally you're back. Which means <sighs> that Shiny's back. Uh, and Shiny's back. Which is great. Ah! You know what's crazy is that he, he could have left um october 27th because soldiers could use their leftover vacation days because of covid but he yeah. declined and was like no yep. i want to participate in the marines defense drill i was like yeah wow. he was like here. helping train people or something yeah yep. yeah he was helping new one new soldiers train but it's okay because my baby is back i love this for me and i'm not gonna neglect him this time i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> she said now that i know that you've been gone i can't for stand real. it I, like so. 
oh my god Minho was my first bias and I would always like see him like come I would always come back here and there I was just like oh what's my baby doing oh, okay bah. and then like carry on with my day but now I'm like oh my god I need to know how he's doing every day I just love that Cynthia's like my baby coming I back know. to me when Carolina's a whole yeah. and I'm we but stand I, I just let shiny her. together <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just let her. I'm just like, yeah, go, go talk. Yeah, but that's my mans too. Minho, my mans. That's one of my it's OG okay. mans still to this day. Ah, oh, wow. Duh, bitch. We found them together. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I love Shiny. Um, and some sadder news. Uh, we found out that Daniel and Minho <gasps> from Twice broke up. And we're sad. I'm, I'm not even sad. I'm just mad. I just thought it was like, why would you get our hopes up like that and then break up over something stupid as like busy schedules? Like, I hate that's like my one pet peeve whenever like celebrities like, oh, we just we're so busy. I'm like, you're a celebrity. Like you're the whole base of your career is to be busy. If y'all are spending hundreds like, of hours of time together, I'm sad for you because that means your career is probably shit because you're not getting work. <laughs> So, like, that's the whole point. Like, you knew when you went into this that, like, she is from twice. Twice. And then you are Kang Daniel. So, I just don't. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Why also, didn't y'all see this coming? You should, yeah, like... but also, too, like, how much time were, could y'all even spend together anyway? Because, like, it's COVID. So, y'all could have Skyped anyway. So, like, that's just a whole bunch of BS. And y'all just <laughs> didn't want to make it work. And I'm just upset because I was so invested. Like, I'm so mad. Facts. That. that was my Same. relationship too <laughs> right like right. i relationship. wish i wish we were we were able to at least get crumbs from their relationship or we we, we got nothing we got nothing we got nothing. her taking out his recycling that's what that's we got it. that's it like i was hoping it would get to the point where they were just so like yes we're together that they would just like I don't know, post like pictures together right oh, like, oh, like yeah, Hannah and Don, Don. Oh, yeah. yeah now exactly. that's a relationship right there <laughs> so now just to like help my heart break to ease me through this breakup I need them to release like a photo album like a season's <laughs> greetings like I need a season's I greetings of just like a couple pictures of them but maybe that they don't have so any because they broke up because they never spent any time together. Jeez, they were together for like a year and seven months though. So they, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were I'm sure I mean, there's pictures somewhere. I know. I need them. It's not like I counted how long they were together or anything. <laughs> <laughs> at all. A year, not seven months, and two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they were so cute together. Like I know. they were. My mom is extremely happy that Daniel is single again, though. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the only plus side. We love this for mama. That's it. <laughs> um, and some other news. We got a company that just don't know how to release statements. <laughs> um, so it was released that only only one of Mill is going to be temporarily suspended from the group mm-hmm. because he broke group rules. A group rule, which we have no idea what that means. <laughs> yeah. So first of all, you should have just said that he's taking a break because of personal reasons and called it a day. Because if you're not going to tell me what rule he broke. What he did. I, that, what he do. Now we're all confused. We're curious. And now people are going to start rumors about what he did because we just want to know. It might be like curfew or something because that's how they do it like in sports, like for football and stuff. Like whenever they suspend players, they'll be they'll announce it and like on like ESPN or like they'll announce um, like so and so of like the um, OU Sooners have been suspended for breaking team rules. And like you never really know until later on they might tell you. But team rules could be anything from like curfew to grades to like drinking in the dorms to like having someone over. Like team rules are just like personal rules that they set aside like for the team that they have to follow Mm -hmm. so I feel like for them to announce it that way they made it they announced it that way because they were just like it's just personal rules that we have as a group that we held like hold our members accountable for not like legal troubles or if they would have said like a personal break people would be like oh my god is his mental health okay is he like oh my god is is he hurt is he sick you know what I mean so they just said like points group rules so that way you're just like ah he grounded like that's like basically (laughs) That's how I took it, because, like, from the sports world, they always, like, oh, XYZ was suspended for breaking team rules, and it's always, like, nothing serious, because if it was super Mm -hmm. serious, then it either would have been, like, hush, hush, like, we're not going to disclose this, or they would have said, like, hey, he was drinking and driving, or something Mm -hmm. like that. 
Yeah, well, we're we're still curious and we're chismosa, so we (laughs) want to know. Chismosa. I want to know, was he caught with a girl? Was he, like, drinking? Was he, like, doing something? Like, does he have a girlfriend? Or did he just show up late to the dorm? Yeah. (laughs) Like, curfew's at 12, you were here at 12.05, how dare you? I know. I know it's none of our business, but they made it our business, so now here we (laughs) (laughs) go. They made it my business when they were like, he broke company rules, and now I'm like, let me find their contract. I want to know what is it. Their group rules, but... Uh, they only announced it on Van Cafe, too. Like, we found out because, obviously, everyone's like, what's going on? But, yeah, they only posted it on Van Cafe. And we're like, he can't even go on their YouTube lives. Because they released a schedule of, like, each member doing a live. And he wasn't already on that. So people were like, uh, where is he? And then the next day, they dropped that. <laughs> And apparently, like the people aren't like the other mem- the people the other members aren't allowed to mention him also in the V Live. So what like, the heck? <laughs> he grounded for real. Yeah, yeah. he grounded, grounded. Ooh. <laughs> he can only watch TV if it's the news because that's what your parents watch. You can only watch what your parents watch, and then you gotta go to bed at six thirty. <laughs> that's how my grounded was. So you gotta go to bed. Also, did they say how long the suspension was for? Or just no, no. They just said that he's suspended, but that's it. Yeah. But I'm wondering. But still, like, I'm just like, um, y'all should have set a date or something. Like, now we're just in limbo with this dude, to the point that we're like not super fans of this group, and we're all just wondering what's Mel doing. How is he doing? <laughs> well, Maybe he this was okay. their plan. <laughs> right? This is all the plan. This is all the this PR. Is stunt. So then, yeah, there's a publicity stunt so we can pay more attention. It's working. I it's know, working. Right? It, it, it is was. working. Either way, I hope everything's good and like he comes back and everything's chill and, you know, he has a good time being grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dun, 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 dun. it's time for our big hit corner. Okay, big hit has announced. Uh, is it technically a New Year's concert? Right, it's a New Year's concert. Yeah, yeah. It's like 2021's New Year's Eve live. Yeah. Yes, big hit has announced their New Year's concert with most of their big hit artists or most of the artists under big hit, except for Seventeen because they have a prior schedule. Don't worry about it. Everyone was stressing out like, "Oh my God, Seventeen!" Like, yo, they got something else they do on Calm Down. Anyway, I'm excited because Me too. hype is gonna be with mm-hmm. BTS and TXT and G Friend. I'm and so Louis. excited to see G Friend. Also, isn't it the same day as something else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have it the same day as Gaia, also the day after Tay's birthday, if anybody's, like, you know, wanting to know. Okay. <laughs> Is this well, a I show? Mean, Is this it's a-, a concert. It's, like, going to be in person, too. So, like, people can yeah. go. It's, like, limited seats, and the seats are, like, um, separated from each other because social distancing. But it's going to be an in-person concert and mm-hmm. also online. So it's going to be yep. virtual oh. and everything. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep. See, that makes sense because I saw people complaining about the pricing and mm-hmm. I saw two hundred dollars, and I was like, two hundred dollars for like an online concert? Oh no, no, no! I paid no, no, for the in person. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's and, no, the, it's free online. But yeah, it's two hundred for the in person. But I didn't know that there was like an in person. Oh, and, oh, yeah, okay. and <laughs> and I just saw two hundred. I was just like, two hundred? Uh, excuse me? No, no, no. Yeah. I feel that. I just want to see all of the interactions. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm so excited to see that. And also, like, word on the street is that Seventeen isn't going because they, they're they going to the Japanese New Year's Eve event, which is, like, invite only. Like, twice is going to be there and, like, what another person. But this is, like, only word on the street. So, not sure. But, I mean, how Ooh. exciting is that? Like, I feel like, yeah, that's super exciting because it's invite only. But also, I'd be kind of, like... Miffed. I know all these people. Why am I here? <laughs> like I'd be so like I'd be so mad because I'd be like, oh great, so they're gonna ditch their company party to go hang out with their what? Japanese. <laughs> it was like a so Damn. from what I read, it's like a big deal. If this is all true, like it's a really big deal that Seventeen is going there, and this was like already done prior to that. So I'm assuming it was like a really really big deal. And if they do end up going to it, it's going to be, like, newsworthy. And it makes sense because, you know, Seventeen lives in, Jap- in Japan now. Okay. So yeah. That's awesome for them, though. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. I'm happy for them. It is really cool. But I'm excited for this fucking concert. Like, I'm going to be lit the whole time. Me too! They also have... Um, I can't pronounce his name. Is it Bumsu? Bumsu? Yeah, Bumsu? it's just Bumsu. 
Okay, and then Lee Hyun, he's also going to be there, like the solo artist mm-hmm. under Big Hit. Yes. But like, it's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be great. This is going to be great. I can't wait for the interactions. Wow. <laughs> What does that do? Like little remixes together and shit. Oh my god! <laughs> what if they totally. have like a company song and they all come out and sing oh. like Jingle Bells or something? Oh my god! Oh my god! Cute. I would oh god, pass what if out. They do collab stages. Oh my god! I'm gonna cry. Oh my god! If they do collab stages, I'll pass out. I can't <gasps> wait. Like I really hope so. Give us everything that we have been wanting, please, please. <laughs> that would be so cute. Also, because of this, uh, big hit artists were removed from pre votes from the <laughs> NBC Gallo because you know they're shady bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's still so funny to me. I yeah. mean, you know what? If I was them, I would do the same thing. I'd be like, forget you guys. I would have been salty too. <laughs> no one can vote for you. <laughs> no one can vote for you. I love that energy though, because Big Hit's like, you know what? We're doing ourselves. Fuck it. <laughs> there is very obviously a petty Libra at the head of their company. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's Terika. <laughs> Bro, but that's still so funny because no matter what, that the pre votes were win. deleted, they're still gonna win the damn they're awards. Win. They're not gonna show it though. We won't air that. We won't, we'll just scroll it at the mm-hmm. bottom of the screen. Yeah, they won, whatever. And <laughs> the winner is. <gasps> Be- Congratulations! <laughs> yeah. And then it just goes silence. Like, okay, yeah. broadcast is over. I mean, it's gonna be like last time, or was that last year or two years ago when. Um, BTS was so booked that they literally performed and then they had to leave and didn't even get to accept their award because they had to go perform at another award show. (laughs) Oh, I remember what you're talking about. But all of the end of the year specials are like a blur to me because I'm like staying up trying to watch all of them and I have like no sleep and I'm just like drinking eggnog and like high on life. (laughs) And then like I crash. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk more about it's big hit corner. So we're going to talk more about TXT released a music video for We Lost the Summer. It's so good. It's so good. The very, metaphors. The symbolism. Yeah, very I love artistic it. symbolism. Mm-hmm. Great time. Mm-hmm. And Yeonjun, wow. Thank you. <laughs> All the outfits are like delightfully tacky. Like it works. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's <laughs> it was great. like, you know what they looked like? It was kind of like how everybody was obviously in loungewear. And that's how I took it as. Because I mean, they were like on Zoom. They even wore masks at one yeah, point. Yeah, it was so cute. They were like on this deck, happy and partying. They went inside. It was during the summer. They were outside. They went inside. And when they came back outside. It was snowing. And when they went outside, it was winter. I was like, yeah, oh, it was right. snowing. They were like, mm-hmm. what happened? That's how we all feel. All of a sudden, it was like everything was open. It was great, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, it was just like shut down. Yeah. Well, I mean, like it was winter when everything shut down. And then still shut down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, is it not so much in Tejas, which yeah. is yeah. a problem. <laughs> not so much in La Florida. <laughs> not so much it. in Texas, which is like the COVID hotspot of the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. hang in there, Terica. I'm chilling in my mandatory face mask state. So, <laughs> but um, the song was great and the looks were amazing. Bum you, my child. Oh my god! Incredible. If anyone knows where to find that hat that he has, please let me know in that sweater because <laughs> I need both of them. Thank you. <laughs> Yeonjun was a TikTok star. Oh yeah, it was so cute. I like his um his outfit with like the like the black turtleneck that has like the rose on it. It was really good. And he had it with yeah. like the Louis Vuitton jeans. I was like, wow, of course, King. <laughs> wow, of course. Great outfit with his hair tied up. Yeah. Yeah, and his machones. You're right. He was obviously online shopping during quarantine. That's what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like Terika. He was like, I'm getting a wig. <laughs> I'm so excited about my wig, y'all. <laughs> getting a wig. The final matter on the docket for our big hit corner and hype it. Woo! Um, so many woo! things. Came out with their reality show, the first episode of And Hypen and High. Also, Jung Wan has been named the leader of N Hypen. Yay, little baby. And it makes sense. Um, Just saying. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. But and Hypen and High was so sweet. I'm so glad they did not include any type of Jeju Island airport madness. Thank yeah. God. Oh, oh that's skipped right. right over that. They're like on their way to the airport. They're like, oh, I'm so excited. And then the next scene, it's like, oh, I'm so excited right after. <laughs> <laughs> They said, we ain't showing this crazy. Yeah, that's smart of them. I was kind of like, uh, as I was watching and I was getting, it was getting closer, like, oh yeah, we're going to go to the airport. I was like, oh. 
<laughs> but we saw their dorm, which had no living room furniture, just a giant TV. I was like, can you give these idols some furniture? Thank you. Mm-hmm. And they're all sharing one room with, like, a row of bunk beds. And I was like, y'all really out here. Like, y'all ain't got millions of dollars. That's how they do it, though. Like, that's how they build team spirit and how they make all their members really dependent on each other because look at bts and txt they're obsessed Girl, they were just stuck in a they were stuck in an isolated house with each other for the last seven months it wasn't enough <laughs> it wasn't enough and there wasn't enough they, that's how they foster their home of codependency that yeah <laughs> exactly that's the real test mm-hmm. now it needs to be like that with the actual members that are in the group they gotta do it again mm-hmm. yeah you have to feel like if you're separated from a member for more than two hours, you can't breathe. Like, that's that's the kind of <laughs> level we need to be on. I still don't know anything about it hyping. Well, Watch guess what, show. y'all? They released the light stick. They haven't even debuted yet. Yes! Yes! <laughs> like, yeah, that's right. Which looks hella cool. It does. It does. I saw it, though, and I was like, is that is that a tire? Is that like a rim? Like a tire rim? <laughs> But it was, like, super cool. It projects onto, like, the wall. That's lit. Love that. Also, I would just like to share a story that, like, if you're thinking to yourself, wow, like, why would I buy a light stick? Like, I might not even be going to concerts for a while. Just know that if you're in any type of severe weather, i.e., like, a thunderstorm or tornado (laughs) watch or your light goes a hurricane, use your light sticks, bro. I'm telling you from personal Mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. Everybody clown me because they're like, wow, you really bought $50 flashlights? But when we were in a tornado watch, and we didn't have any electricity and we couldn't see in the house and your girl brought out all like six of her light sticks and handed one to each family member who was laughing then (laughs) boom so do you want to be green do you want to be blue you want to be red like you want white you want glitter you want it to flash you You want it to just flash you so there you go it's a practical buy is what i'm trying to say so if you're feeling bad because you're thinking about spending money on this light stick you may not get to use for a while don't feel Mm -hmm. bad buy it there's other uses for it thanks yes i feel really included with (laughs) and hype like there's so much content all the time honestly and yeah i mean i love the reality show we really got to see them right after island like backstage from Island and all the pain came back into my heart and soul. I was crying. I was yeah. crying. They I showed was like, Kay wow, I was supposed to have a good time with this reality show and they just got K hugging mm-hmm. everybody. Oh, I know. And then they just threw them into the makeup chair. They're like, all right, you got to film yep. this now. <laughs> Get to work. It starts now. Exactly. And then they okay. went to their dorm and they watched Island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, I was like, okay. <laughs> Oh, it was, was so like, cute. Y'all just though. lived through it. What are you doing? I'm saying. I was just telling Kat yesterday that I was listening to 101 and I was listening to their music yesterday and I was like, oh, I like the song. And then I, I thought about it. I was like, wow, I really picked like a survival show that's like so crazy and like there's like an egg and it was like Hunger Games. But you know what? I went at the end because and hype and don't disband. <laughs> well listen i said wow thanks bitch right (laughs) exactly i'm just like you don't gotta throw us like that no (laughs) the pain was still there though i don't like it (laughs) but yeah they really just say here and the thing that got me that was so funny and i was like wow these boys are hilarious it's gonna be a great time i mean i already knew they were funny but even more funny when the episode ended sun was like i want to keep watching to see what happens i was like you left it why why i know <laughs> oh my god clown. did he yeah. dissociate he was like i'm gonna dissociate this is other people this is not me that's it well maybe because he was like in ground and then in island and in ground so maybe he like didn't see everything that was happening you know he was like oh, okay yeah, yeah you're right you're right that reminded good me point, of the time point. that like for bts was it Jin? they posted like a picture of like Jin or something and hobie starts laughing he goes ha 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 oh my god is this an edit and yungi was like no you're literally standing next to him in the picture like <laughs> you saw this happen <laughs> he was like ow well, wow. <laughs> it's like wow, they all belong to the same company. I'm saying I was just about to say that. I was like, well, they belong to the same company. It makes sense. <laughs> I'm telling the big you, print leaders with dimples and <laughs> disassociating yourself from <laughs> from seeing yourself. Reality. And again, if you have a problem with that, I don't know, bro. My DMs are still open because it makes total sense. Like, obviously, <laughs> we thought he sang was gonna be the lyric because the oldest, and we're like, okay, lit, well, that's fine. But then they announced. And I was like, you know what? It makes sense because he tells everyone what to do anyway. 
in a good way. We were saying like, oh yeah, he's son will be the oldest, but then we were also like, yeah, but Big Hit never chooses the oldest to be as the leader. leader. Yeah, as that the leader. True. Yeah, but Jungwon makes sense because he's a bossy ass bitch in yeah. a great way, but he is. It's so natural to him, you know what I mean? Like it just like he's even like, an this. island. Okay. Yeah. In Ireland, he was like that, but not, again, not in a bad way. Like, it just, like, makes sense to him. It's so natural to him. Like, he's like, why don't you do this? Say this. Blah, blah, blah. Like, even when there was beef between, like, all of them and Kay, like, Jungwon was like, nah, y'all, like, we all got to tell him. And then he's like, he said, you do it because you're oldest. And <laughs> he was like, you got to do it like this. It makes sense. Just saying. Um, it's some other news. Uh, Bombing Tiger, which is like a collective of different artists, they came out with their little mini tour video. So they were supposed to have a tour this year and be at like South by Southwest and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. But obviously COVID happened. Um, but they released this like hour long video of them in the Han River just performing. And it was super dope. So I think I might have mentioned her before, but Sogum. She got signed to AOMG, but she's part of this collective, and I love her vibe. Yeah, I love really cool. her voice, and we saw mm-hmm. her at KCON, and I remember literally being there, and I'm just like, man, like I was vibing so hard with her. And then later on, after everything, I was listening to music, and I realized I'm like, wait a second, this is that girl. This is that girl, and I realized that I had been listening to her music before. Didn't but we mm-hmm. told her right because we didn't we bump into her like during yeah the like yeah. it yeah. was awkward because like Kelly was like oh you and she's like ah me like <laughs> and she's like oh I just want to tell you your voice is so great <laughs> yeah because I know that she I think she like understands English but doesn't really know it so she yeah. was she looked flustered she was just like oh how do I reply what do I say she did but I think she got <laughs> the feel because Kelly was so excited I think she felt like okay this is a positive thing like she. She's not trying yeah. to bug me or anything. <laughs> but, like, I yeah. thought it was so cool that they did this on the Han River. Like, I thought that was, like, genius. Because it's, like, yep. you get to show everybody, like, showcase your music, like, in this really mm-hmm. cool place. And, like, yeah, I let people busk around that area. But, like, if I was listening to someone busk at the Han River and all of a sudden someone just starts floating down the Han River, like, on this mini, like, rafting <laughs> singing, I'm yes. like, what's that? I like, know, following it around. <laughs> yeah, I think it was, like, a great idea. It was really cool. And, like, just to see the different artists, like, they went from, like, you know, they all have different styles and different vibes. Mm-hmm, and, like, they mm-hmm. get just, it was really flowed well. It was really cool. I thought it was a great idea. It was fun. I, I thought so, too. Like, I thought the whole, like, I thought it was going to be, like, you know, just, like, on the side of Han River. But, no, they right. were, like, on Han River, like, going down the stream. Yeah. Like, and I was just like, what? But, but yeah, no, I really liked it. I liked that they were, show again, like Terika said, showcasing, like, their different mm-hmm. styles and things like that, so. And the camera angles, too, because they would go from, like, a regular camera, like, showing the performer, and then they would do, like, the GoPros from behind, like, the band and stuff. Oh, yeah. So I thought yeah, that yeah, was yeah. really cool, too, to get different angles. It's, mm-hmm. like, it's it's so weird, though, because, like, for example, you got, like, Sogum, she performed, and she's more, like, you know, like, the R&B or, or just, like, indie, like, very indie mm-hmm. vibe, like, chill. Mm-hmm. And then the second one that performed was Matt the Student. He was, like, yeah, like, he's, like, a rocker boy. Um, third one was Omega Sapien and this is the guy that like at KCON we were just like confused about everything because he, he was, was too hype. hype he's the rapper but yeah but overall I thought this was super dope I thought that was a really good idea and I like that these like collectives are coming out you know yeah like it's not just like oh it's a group no it's like we're all different artist and we're just chilling together like hanging out together promoting together type of thing Mm -hmm. i wonder if this will like start a trend of like concerts on the han river can you imagine like kind of gate off an area and then like have people pay how many people you can pack onto the sides of the han river and just have an artist floating down like at night or something like that'd be so (gasps) cool that'd be so cool what if what if or or for vvip you are on a boat floating down with them <laughs> uh, that Whoa. would be dope with your light sticks oh my god yeah. it's like hey <laughs> that'd be so cute that would be cute yeah no, and your package so comes fun. with the ice cream and chicken because there's like a really like a like, convenience store that has good ice cream and chicken wow so that's where your Ooh. package will come from that convenience store on the <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the snacks with a bottle of soju on the snack. side the chicken man like on his own boat chicken <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Just walking around selling chicken <laughs> instead of popcorn and cotton candy. It's chicken and beer. Chicken and beer, bro. I'd love it. 
I'd be about it. Yummy. But if anybody wants to check it out, yeah, it's just on YouTube. It's free. It's like an hour long, I think, but it's really cool. It's called The Tiny Tour. Yeah, no, it is called The Tiny Tour, so you can just look it up on YouTube, but it's it's super dope. I like that idea. I hope that more people do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be fun. It'd be a good time. <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, let's move on then to our comebacks for this week, everybody. Listen, I, we're talking about good ideas. You know what's a good idea? idea? Taman. Taman is always <laughs> a good idea, and he came out with idea as his comeback, and it's great. But is it idea? Because he be saying it like idea. I'm like, okay. Okay, yeah. it could be idea. Idea. It's like idea. Idea. Idea, yeah. yeah. My idea. He's trying to be Spanish. I love it. I like it. I support it. Also, I saw someone tweet and like they said that Taman in the studio, he was like, hmm, this sounds spooky and horny. Let's do this. And literally that's the entire (laughs) vibe of the album and I absolutely love it. Literally. Like it's amazing. Oh my God. But it's Taman. I'm I'm like, I don't expect any less from Taman. Like his music is always good. His visuals are out of control. Like the visuals for this music video are insane. Like the different colors that they use, the lighting, the contrast. I know that there's like when he's wearing the, the blue suit, like, and then it goes between the blue suit and the dark and fiery scenes. Mm-hmm. Like, that contrast back to back to back, like, that shit had me shook. I was just like, ugh, it's so striking. Yeah. And we always talk about artists that we want to, like, sit down and talk to. And I know we've mentioned, like, Shiny and 1, stuff. And, like, I would love to sit down and just talk to Tame about his concepts and, like, yep. his mm-hmm. choreo. Because, like, I feel like everything connects like i know someone did like a little tweet about how like for his past like three releases the ending pose is the beginning pose of that's what i said in the reaction yeah Yeah. as soon as i saw him with his arms open i was like yo that's from criminal (laughs) yeah and i know i watched the video that he did when he was like teaching headchamp of course how to do the like choreo (laughs) and he just talked about how like he thinks that like he'll take his basic choreo but he'll add like small details on like his face or small details in his fingers that like kind of give it a different vibe or like like i don't know he's just yeah he's great we love Taman. he's so talented. yeah he was just on this uh he was on the the mc jj she did like the nct showcase whatever mm-hmm. she mm-hmm. has like her own show and he was on there and she was talking to him about like his habits and literally every th- reason he does something has a particular like a, co- a concept in his head that he has like yeah one of the things they were talking about is how his hand the hand placement on his hip like he never like puts his hand on his hip it always lays to the side and he's like oh yeah it's to show off the jewelry for the concept mm-hmm. or the Damn. way he never covers his uh face with his hand but always his arm because his hands are small his hands are small yeah against his, if he puts yeah. it against his face they look smaller so he puts his whole arm to make uh-huh. his arm and his face looks smaller, and I'm just like, oh my god! Yeah, he's, he's so a genius. Just oh my god, he's such a genius. Like, this is king shit. And he was wow. doing supreme shit. He was doing the supreme literally shit the supreme with the yep, elements. Literally, yeah. Like I just want to sit in a studio and just watch him dance. Like watch him like prepare for an album or a show. And just oh like, my god, god, following him around as he prepares for a concept. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Yeah, I'd do it for free, bro. Like that, my payment right? would just be like I'd just bring him coffee all the time. Like I'd pay. To do this, like if it was a <laughs> if it was a VVIP package, bro, sign me up. I'd pay it. I'd just follow him around and watch him. He didn't even have to Work. talk to me. I would do it. Speaking of following around Taman, him and Onu just did like a video together where Onu pretended to be his manager, and it was the cutest shit. <laughs> so to watch it. Cute. It was so cute. I'm so happy they're all back. I think I've seen clips of it on TikTok. Yeah. (laughs) Jinky went for it. He was like, no, I'm going to pretend I know nothing about Taman. And he was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. He was like, yeah, it's going to be the first time I've seen you perform ever. (laughs) (laughs) That's so cute. I'm so happy they're all back. I know. How lonely it was and how he missed them when he does his solo thing. So, like, I'm so happy. (laughs) It's gonna, I can't wait. I can't wait for I, Shiny to have a comeback. I do want Same. some. I do have something to add. I just really want to talk about the bearded feather outfits because oh, yeah, 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 that. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, and the fuchsia jacket. Amazing. Ah, mm. oh, that was so iconic. That was me with the white outfit that he had with the the crop top, like that white mm-hmm. turtleneck. Yeah. Crop top. Ooh, ooh, I love ooh. that look. Ooh. I love like how the backup dancers too had like the white feathers when mm-hmm. he yeah. had the beaded mm-hmm. feathers one. Oh my god. I know that he mentioned like for 
the con like well i don't know if he mentioned it or if it was just people talking about it about how like the contrast between his act one and act two kind of just like act one was maybe like heaven this is hell or like vice versa and mm-hmm. um or or not heaven and hell but like not like that naughty or nice like the like yeah. the god and the devil like that contrast is on act one versus act two and i'm just like ooh. I feel it. Ooh. He does have a song called Heaven on this album that he wrote. Yes. Ah! So happy. Wow, it's great. Yeah, but with Idea, like, this is so haunting. His vocals are just so beautiful, like, and I love that. Is that, it's Boa that says the Killing Me Softly, right? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. I love that. I love that so much. The choreo, too. I was just like, God. Yes, the dance moves were so good. It was so addicting to just watch him dance mm-hmm. i know and like seeing like what terika said the video of him with like hechan and like because and ten was in it for like a little bit seeing like the details that mm-hmm. he puts into everything you know i will say too something i noticed there was a female backup dancer in the outfits where he's wearing like the fuchsia and they're in the black and white she's the one all the way to the right hand side bitch was getting it in and i was like okay queen come through i don't know you but yes yeah he like, really takes pride in his backup dancers he's just like yeah. y'all gotta dance just as hard as i am so let's go <laughs> that and also like with the outfits and everything like he always has the backup dancers looking to the gods like just mm-hmm. Looking we talked so about good. the visuals, but I was also like to say that this song is fucking incredible. Like the breakdown to this song, like yep. everything. Yeah, it's so like catchy. I was it's like, t- uh, it stays yeah. in your head and everything. I love it. Uh, I was just like, yes, the supreme Lee Taemin, like fuck it up forever like, and not human. always. He is not human. It's just I wild. Agree. We we say this all the time, but to think about that, like Taemin has been in Gen two, Gen three, and now Gen four. <laughs> Like still killing it, still killing it, and still, still young, and he's still, still young. Yes, yeah. Like that's insane. He's forever, like forever. Taman's gonna be a part of. He like, is the supreme. Yeah. He is the one and you, only. Right. <laughs> you, <laughs> right. Else. Mm-hmm. Moving on then for our next comeback, uh, we have a debut of Stacy um, with So Bad. This is a new girl group, and theirs gave me hella like eighties. But it like, had a lot of color and like yeah. it was great. Sparkles. The styling was very disco. Yes, the sparkles. Yes. Like the the styling was very disco and I loved it. The song is really good. It's very just, you know, it's pop. It's a poppy song. And mm-hmm. um the rapper girl though reminds me of Dami of Dreamcatcher, her <gasps> voice. Oh my god, I said that. I literally yeah. wrote that down. Like oh her voice, her tone of it's voice, so like her it, yes, yeah. it reminded her me. her style, of her. it reminded me of her too. I was just like, mm-hmm. oh. But it's really cute. I, I, I liked it. I love the outfits, love the vibe of the song. And um, their other song in the little EP, because I think it's just Jew, is also really good. So I feel like they're, they hit the pop, like, music lotto i don't know does that make sense like i don't know i get you i feel you (laughs) and the music video super cool super colorful like in your face there's this one girl that has the cutest ears you know me i love ears. (laughs) the (laughs) cutest ears she's so cute i'm excited to see more of them like they i saw so much like hype around their debut before they debuted it and i just didn't know why now she gets it but like Seeing this, I'm just like, okay, I get it. Like, they're they're really good. They're a really good group. Mm-hmm. But let's move on then to our next comeback. We got other women oh doing the God. damn thing. Oh my God. G-Friend oh. came out with my goal. And listen, these are the oh real disco queens right now. Oh, my God. This vibe. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. This was everything. This was this everything. This was everything. This music everything. video, the song, the choreography, the... You do on this pole. You do on yes! the pole. Boy! Thank you. Thank you. They had a whole pole dancing. Like, just, Love that. Wow. Iconic. Girl. Amazing. Mesmerizing. Sinbi in that red bodysuit. I was Ooh. like, oh, oh my, my God. The outfits were all fire. The yeah. go-go yeah. boots. Incredible. The Chanel outfits. <gasps> yes, the Chanel, the Chanel outfits. Same. Same. That those are my fave. I need those outfits. Every single one of them. Even like the little hat. My literal dream to own a Chanel outfit like that and a Chanel bag. Like, then I'd just be like the happiest person on earth. I don't even care if I have like two cents and some lint in that purse and that bag. <laughs> I feel amazing. 
and Unha with that long blonde in the glitter dress, I was like, yo, what yes. is going on yes. right now? Yes. And the mm-hmm. pants mm-hmm. were cute. Like, yes. go about. They just all look so good. And goddess, I love goddess level. I love they have that scene. I don't know their name, so please excuse me for that. But the girl that was on the the wrecking ball style, like Miley, I was oh, I you that. do. Yeah. I was I dying that. at that. I was just like, mm-hmm. they came out here with the pole dancing, the wrecking ball, the glitter, the everything. They just were just like in the club in your face. Living their best lives. And then Yaren in, I'm assuming it's like a hotel when she had like the blow dryer and the pink dress on oh, with yeah. like the golden hue in the background. I was like, oh my God. I love that. What? Mm-hmm. Ugh. They're just, I'm so, uh, at first I was like, oh no, when it started, I was just like, oh, they're not going to continue with like the fairy tale theme. And then it like started and I was like, oh, okay. I like this too. I just feel yeah. like since they've like been transferred over to like Big Hit, like the sugar daddy that is Big Hit, like they've gotten to like be like these like grown powerful because they've always been super talented and their choreo has always been on point. But I feel the like they were kind of confined to just like they wanted them to be like bubble girls, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but now they're just like goddesses. Yeah, uh-huh. everything. You're right. Because like here, take all this money, do yeah. what you want. Do what you want. Oh, to have a big hit company. <laughs> to have a big hit sugar daddy. Ugh. Yeah. But no, this concept was just Everything. insanity. And maybe like, miss the clerk and, so bad. Yeah. Me and <laughs> Cynthia were like, wow, this is really the big hit print right now. Right now. Like the disco like yeah. throwback thing. Oh, like right. all the big hit artists are doing it. Are we going to get a disco thing from Newest? Are we going to get a disco thing from N Hyphen? Like, let oh me my know. God. Like, can you I'm imagine Ren and some like Bell He looks so good. Ah, oh my God. Yes. Stop. Hey. Beko going to look so good with those pants. Oh. He'd have like the John Travolta like shirt open, <laughs> like the little like V. That's his hat. That's with like the it. chains. Oh, yeah. Stop. Oh. Just, just <laughs> thinking about it. I got to go. I got to mm-hmm. go. Mm-hmm. You're right. <laughs> We also watched the live stage for Mago, and it's so good. It's also, so the good. little fan chants. Oh, it was so precious. Yeah, they had their fan chants. I like the little so choreo cool. where they do the little thing over their heads with their hands. I think yes, that's what that the so cool. dance move yeah, is so, so cool. It's so exactly. cool. But also, the song is so good, and like so the good. lyrics, I'm like, yes, they're like, I can be a good and I or I can be the light and I can be the darkness. I can tell truths and lies. I was like, okay, queens, come on, like, queens. Yes, yeah, come it's through, a really good song. Through, yes, yes. yes. They're going to be everything they want. And Yuju's that's... voice, I was just like, ma'am, can you calm down? Like, you're doing too much in this video. And, like, Simbi, you coming for that bias spot? And I was like, oh, my God. She's great. Yo, Yuju on that pole, I just cannot get over it. Like, I'm going to have dreams of that woman for weeks. Like, I was her living. Le- her legs just look so long. And, yep. like, that ponytail. I was just like, girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Iconic. I was like, you have come a long way from Miku Sestu and Glass Bead. Y'all out here doing <laughs> I know. Man, you know what's the... Do you know how you know that, that their G-Friend is just, like, top tier? Because, like, they do so many concepts, like, so different. But it every time, it's incredible. Like, yeah. there's not, like, a concept that just doesn't look good with them. They're so talented. I wish they got more hype. But, like, buddies are, like, super, super loyal. Like, they love their girls. Yeah, that's really they cool. They really do. Yeah, they go hard. And they show out for them, so. Yeah. For our next comeback, we have Nati, which we've talked about when she debuted. She came out with Teddy Bear. The concept was weird. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I <laughs> watched a lot of bear. SVU. The whole time I was like, that's a stalker. That is a pedophile. You get that's away from man. there. <laughs> yeah. He put a camera in your teddy bear, girl. Mm-hmm. And she coming for you. Like that stalker is coming for you. No. I'm with t- I'm with Cynthia in this because I thought, okay, yeah, teddy bear, okay, cool, whatever. But when that teddy bear, like, it was like a big bear, I was like, oh no, no. Mm-hmm. That that's um that's a no, stalker. When the teddy bear's costume. lights, uh, I mean eyes turn kind of like red, I was like, yeah. that is a camera. That is a live yeah, stream. That's a camera, girl. That's what I said. But yeah, but this like it's like a cuter concept and stuff. But this was not my cup of tea. I didn't really like it. She looks adorable. Outfits cute. Like, you know, Mm -hmm, the visuals mm -hmm. were okay, But like the the whole Teddy thing, like freaked me out. But also I thought it was like boring. Yeah. Like she was super cute. But like I just wasn't invested. Same. I feel Mm -hmm. like I was in the middle of the song and I was like, okay, that's enough. Like it just didn't. It it just didn't. It was just not it. That white Lolita dress she wore though, I like that. I adore. I liked that. her outfits. They were cute, and her like uh pink boots and stuff like that. Like her mm-hmm. outfits were super cute, but like 
Yeah. Yeah, but the song <laughs> itself was just like, yeah, no, like, it just didn't give me anything. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Besides stalker vibes. Right? <laughs> Another soloist, so Jamie also had a comeback um, featuring Jay Park with Apollo 11. Um, this one different. I really like the vibe of this because you know That's she's really more cool. she's more into like the R and B like mm-hmm. type of sound. Um, she also gave us the Jay that we like. She gave us R and B Jay, and I was like, thank you. This is what we needed. But yeah, but I liked the song and I really liked her flow compared with Jay. I fucks with this song. It's good. I like her music. It's just that like, I don't know. It's just something. I don't know if I'm still trying to be salty for what how she tried to come at Woods, but like. you right. I guess they're past it now because doesn't he have a song with her on his new album? Yeah. Yeah. She features in his album. And yeah. His I guess they're album. past it, but like I'm not past it. <laughs> like it ain't my friendship, but I'm not over it. So I'm not going to be nice to her. I did like the end, though, when she left the astronaut a message in Morse code. I was like, ooh, genius. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what it says now. Maybe her number in Morse oh. code. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it know. It says thanks. Oh, it says thanks. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah. I was just like, ooh, Morse yeah. code. Um, right. I, I think it's funny how K-pop is, like, in the disco scene, and then on the other side of the spectrum, like, the R&B is, like, in space. Because, like... Yeah, yeah like, you're right. It reminded me of Dabin. It reminded me of Rich Brian. Like, yes. <laughs> of aliens. Girl. Which, I mean, yeah. she kind of, like, goes with all of those people. Like, her style yeah. and things like that. So that makes sense. I just love two ex-JYPs coming together after being done. You're doing right. <laughs> You're right. You're that. right. They said, we don't need this. We don't need this company. If only Golden was on this track, it would have been perfect. <gasps> oh, that would have been good. She's like, oh. Yeah, like I'm thinking about it now and I'm just like, he would have fit this so perfectly. Wow. Um, the next comeback we're going to talk about, Terika's Little Cloud Man. Ah! Uh, ha Sung Woon came back with Forbidden Island. This is sexy. Oh, yes. It's so sexy. Ooh. This is sexy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Speak your truth about your man. Oh, because yes, I know. Terica, about your man. Go. Okay, so we have like fun and playful Sung Woon, and then we have like ballad Sung Woon, and now we have grown and sexy Sung Woon, and I think like yep. I'm just real excited. I'm glad that he's like showcasing different sides of himself, and that now I feel like he finally like found his little niche. I feel like his ballads were something that he was comfortable in because he knows he has a good voice. He knows he could just kind of like, but I'm glad that he's kind of like, you know what? I'm going to move past what everybody expects of me and we're going to get sexy. And I was so happy. Like, yes. I really liked, I really liked this song a lot. I was really proud. The visuals were really different and really cool. Yep. And like, he wore gloves for me. So I was really happy because, you know, I know how I feel about gloves. And, like, I saw <laughs> those and I was just like, Terika's going to die at this music video. <laughs> She's going to mm-hmm. die because, like, he looks incredible. And mm-hmm. I literally, like, I was watching it and I was just like, I see, like, no wonder you're, like, best friends with Jimin and Taemin. Like, you're, like, I, yeah. yes. Yeah. See, I he's see probably it. like, I, you know, you know, he was like a little, he's a little frickly. You can't be best friends with those people and then just, you know. Exactly. Not be. Yeah. So I'm still waiting for the best friends collab, like, we got it with him and Robbie. Now I just need the whole group to come together and make a song. Literally, And it was just so fun seeing it too, because again, like we don't, we haven't seen this type of concept from him and yeah. like this like contemporary and like sleek, sexy, uh-huh. I loved. And the thing is that like, again, like I need the friend, I need the best friend group to do something together because all I can imagine too is him, like someone doing something like this with Jimin, like, B. B. Yeah. I was really proud. Yeah, don't. Oh it was nice. God, was His nice. voice, he sounded good. The song is good. Yep. The video was good. I like the album. The black too. outfit. The black oh, outfit. that black outfit. Yes. The black outfit. That's what I'm telling you. This girl. I'm just saying. I just, I don't know. I just think it's something about like our generation of idols. I think they're finally like, we're older now and we don't want to be confined to this like. I like that they get to show their like grown side. Like they they're allowed to be sexy. They're allowed to do things that people might think are more like ooh provocative or maybe not for yeah. like pop. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. so like it's cool to see that in all these different groups now. It's like how um so you know how God Seven Seven come back and it looks all like you know sexy and shit. <laughs> and somebody was just like I knew I knew that they were they will never do another song like just right. 
And then somebody was like, what do you expect? They're almost 30. Like, you want to see them do just right? Like, <laughs> when they're all That's grown what I'm like saying. that? Like, it's cool to see this journey because, like, they all started to, like, in their, like, late teens, you know, things like that. And it's kind of cool. And, like, mm-hmm. it's cool to be diverse and be able to, like, hey, I'm an adult. And now I can sing and do, you know, express adult things and sing about adult situations because I can't talk about how homework sucks. In the right, fifth grade. exactly. Because yeah. I'm not in the I'm... fifth grade anymore, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just knew when I watched that music video, I was like, Terika gonna go through it. Terika is gonna go through I, it. And I did. Oh, I did. I put off <laughs> watching the music video. I put, like, I never listened to anyone's album and not the, I always do the music video first, all the time. But, like, this time I was like, I know I can't, I can't. Because I heard the song and I was like, nope. Mm-mm. And I saw the teasers. <laughs> so I was just like, nope, <laughs> nope. And then I finally watched it. So I need to buy this album because I own all of his albums. So I need this one too. Yes. And the yes. bass in this song too. Just a little thing. The bass in the song gave me life. Yes. Um, it is the moment we have all been waiting for. Yes! Woo! Lucy oh has God. released their new season song. <laughs> okay, we have a theory. We have a theory in this household that Lucy will release music based on seasons. We yes. got a summer release. Now we have our fall release. And it is here. The Lucy mini album yes! for Snooze. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. I mean, even their debut was like spring vibes. Just saying. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, yeah, it was called flowering. Like, yeah, yeah. exactly. Boom. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. And we'll ask them about it next week. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah! I might forget my own name. I might forget my own name. Who knows? <laughs> I'm writing notes. Oh my God. I cannot. They're gonna be like, "Hey, Carolina." Who? And I'll be who like, "Who's that? that? That's your name." <laughs> it's Carolina. You can call I'm me like, whatever Carolina. you want. I really hope that Guang Il is first because ah! I want Carolina to just instantly and just like die. <laughs> yeah, just let out like a just ah, like a screech. I feel like because yeah, because she won't know. So like the screen will turn on and it'll be him. She'll go ah. <laughs> <laughs> I oh hope. I hope Wait. that that's the case. You guys got this. If you could literally talk to ATs and Ace in person, you got this. You You're right. You're right. right. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. But um, but let's start. So the first song, the mini EP, is Snooze. Um, oh, now so they good. they did the song, song in Super so Band. Yes, um, they did. So mm-hmm. now they did you know like a live like a recording Studio of it. But movie. what I really liked is that it still sounds like a live song. Oh, mm-hmm. it's so good. Yeah, they made it sound so like it's still a live song. It's and, just so good. Uh, it's such a feel good song, bro. Like watching it, the meaning behind it. It's a comforting even, song. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And even the music video, like, because, you know, in the song, they're like, when did we grow up? Like, we want to mm-hmm. go back to our childhood type of thing. And even in the music video, like, that's what they're doing. They're all at their boring jobs mm-hmm. and then, or like doing work. And then they just, they're just like, man, fuck this. And they just go and play. The imagery is so pretty, like the lighthouse, the, lighthouse. With, like, the cascade. Oh, that was my favorite, like, them playing in front of the lighthouse with like the instruments and then the waves hitting yeah. the rocks. Oh my god. And then like the meadow and then the part in, <laughs> I don't want to say choreo, but it is technically choreo. <laughs> where they're all like sleeping, standing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the element was just so cool. And then like you hear the alarm ringing in the background and yes. then Yetan just comes in with his violin. Ah! Oh my god, and then playing the violin god. in his little beach chair. I was I thought that was so pretty. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> and like his two tone hair and I was yes. just like, Oh my god, this his is compromise with the me. company as he said. <laughs> he wanted his black hair back and they're like, Well, how about we give you half black hair? And he's like, I <laughs> <laughs> he can like, never he can never live. Like he gets kicked out of their dorm. Like <laughs> <laughs> for scenario. <laughs> yeah. Poor baby. He sleeps in the living room now. When I first heard the song, like, obviously, like, we've heard the song before, but mm-hmm. this is different. Like, this is with Sangyeob's vocals now and all this stuff, yes, right? Yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. So it gives it the different vibe, and, you know, now it's Lucy. It's Lucy. Anyways, okay, so I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, literally. <laughs> Why are we like this? Like, my heart is like, so fast. Giggling. <laughs> We're he's just simping over this band. We this really are. The only oh group we're ever like this way. I hate that I have tears in my eyes right now. <laughs> oh my god, me too. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm like sweating talking about this shit. I really just love them so much. I can't do this. They're so great. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways. Um, no, like when Yeshan like came out, like obviously like we again we've heard the song. We're like, okay, we got it. But like getting a visual 
like that mm-hmm. for this solo chills oh, automatic goosebumps. like instant it was just chills i have goosebumps right now just thinking about it like that was really? insane all of his solos like i told you guys in the group chat like i i it was a hot mess but like <laughs> <laughs> i always cry because they're just so pretty like i don't they know are. what it is you just hear something and it's just mm-hmm. so pretty that you just like you just find yourself uh-huh. crying you're not happy like i mean sad they're just like tears of just like oh yeah my God, you're happiness so- yeah, yeah you're so and not only that just like the visual of him too, like in the beret, in the oh, stop. Can you not? With his neck just like all out. Ah! I was like, oh my God. Watching him like, play. Is... That part reminded me of Howl's Moving Castle where he, where he was like stop! playing it and then the meadow. And stop! it was like instantly, I just thought of Howl's Moving Castle, which he has done a cover of. So I know. That's why I said stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Terika. Like, <laughs> this was, like, combined, combined with, like, oh, when Guanya like, starting this song, and I was just, mm-hmm. I was just oh. screaming. Uh, it's so good. Vocals. And it was just so cute. Like, they are always running. They were running down a road. And I was just mm-hmm. like, I know. Guys. They're giving each other piggyback rides, and they're just being best friends. It was just mm-hmm. so cute. And then just fucking, and then when Sanya was walking with one song, and he looked behind him to catch up, I was just like, oh my god, they're so cute. They are you know so what cute. I really like, too? That there's a scene that it's like, all of them, it's like, Yechan is looking at the other three, and oh, yes, like, yes, yes. Uh-huh, it's so pretty. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they're in the lighthouse, and it's so pretty because you know Yeshan is like the leader of the group, so it's kind of like looking at the kids, and he's the oldest, so it's like looking at the kids, like oh okay, mm-hmm. like taking care. And I was just like, no stop, like it oh was like God. it also they also talked about when they went to the beach together um, a while ago, and Yechan cried because he thought that he wasn't like a good leader, and so <gasps> oh, baby. it reminded me of when they mentioned that, and I was like, oh you're a great leader, stop. Oh, he's such a good leader. <laughs> Why does he think? Oh my god. And just like the outfits too, like the fall, just pure. Oh, fall the styling. Vibes yes. Vibes of these outfits. And then my man's peach hair. What's that? With the slacks. <laughs> we're all just like, we're just so like. <laughs> I have listen. We haven't gotten to talk about this, but like one time with his slacks, I'm sorry. He's such a tall, tall, lanky man, and those slacks He's so cute. The way he it looks so oh. good on him. It looks so <laughs> the way tall. he dances with his base. He just <gasps> jumps around all the time. Oh my so god, cute. he's such a lanky man. I love him. Oh my god. And then how Sanya like closes one eye when he does like his big. Oh my yes! god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, he sings. I yes, <laughs> I love yeah. that habit. Yeah, that was me. Like with Guane, like. <sighs> He looks so good in that in that that turtleneck, like that green. The oh my god! And you guys, if you watch their live stage, you have to watch the live stage. Like the outfits for that were so cute, like the checkered yeah. print and like yes. they so yeah, cute. they were like adorable. The like like oh petition for them to be styled like this forever, <laughs> forever. Like what are we gonna get this winter? Are we gonna get like a winter love song? <gasps> oh my god! And like oversized sweaters. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they when really got it. My heart is beating so. I know. Fast. I like, can't believe this. <laughs> even even when they announced that this was gonna be the song, I was just like, it it doesn't like doesn't matter that I've heard it before because I know that they're gonna make it different, and they did. Like it's they it's did. so different they still. Did. And again, and the meaning behind the song, like how like you know when did we become adults type of thing like let's just mm-hmm. go back to our childhood and and like play and you know what i thought was really cool too that that clock it like kept going backwards mm. so it's like they're going back and mm-hmm. i just i again it was like the little details and everything like mm-hmm. it was just even the alarm so in cool. the actual song like in the studio mm-hmm. version of the yep. song but it's yep. not like a like a, it's not an abrasive abra- alarm it's just like a no. nice calming one <laughs> it's yeah. almost like mm-hmm. it's, and it's like it's flooded i feel like it was if it what would sound like is if an alarm clock was in water mm-hmm. oh it's kind of like yeah you're like thinking about it's in your subconscious type of thing maybe yeah mm-hmm. maybe exactly that's what it like is. inception like when the alarm goes off in inception and that it's like layers it muffled and okay. you hear it and then it gets mm-hmm. louder and louder that's what it reminded me of oh yes it was just so good. This song is so this good. This shit's onions have layers. You know, this shit got layers. <laughs> 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 layers. Oh my god, I she mean, ain't lying. She ain't lying. Speaking of layers, they have another song on this like little mini EP <laughs> called <laughs> Farther and Farther. Oh my god. <laughs> now that's a layered song right it's there. <laughs> so pretty and mm-hmm. nostalgic. That's like the theme for this this yeah. whole EP though. So I feel like it's nostalgia and like yeah. longing for mm-hmm. something. 
like Mm -hmm. how they used to be it's crazy what it reminds me of my mom i was listening to this song in the shower and my mom was like why does it sound like you're listening to a record player and that's literally what it sounds like it sounds like you're Mm -hmm. playing it on a record player yeah like they just put so much effort into this and how the song sounds and like what each thing just like how it feels like Mm -hmm. it's just so good and i like like with this like yeah like you have that longing it's like you're longing for somebody or for something Mm -hmm. and even in the lyrics you know it's like the memories together are going like farther and farther away so it's kind of just like the the passing of time But, like, you still cherish those memories, but it's okay that they're just, like, moving away, like, that it's more in the past than before. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just have a great way of, like, bringing out the emotion of their listeners. Like, you always Mm -hmm. feel something when you listen to their music. And I don't know if it's because of, like, the little, like, sounds they add to it, like, water, like, the back, yeah, or, Mm -hmm. like, what it is, but it's always just, like, oh. Like, you feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, I I love that. It was dramatic. It had, like, a little sadness to it. Like, well, not a little, but sadness <laughs> to the song. Like, and Guan, again, Guan, oh, my God. He's starting the oh song. Oh, my God. Uh, it hit different. It was just so, like, <laughs> just, I'm used to, like, you know, the, the happy or, like, the whatever. But this, it, it, there was, like, such, like, a, a sadness to his tone. And I was just living. I was just, no. Oh, my God. The song was just great. Shout out to my man for producing, as always, one song. You're a genius. You're Love right. you, baby. XOXO. Talent. So if y'all have not checked out Lucy, we talk about them so much, like, please go and do that. Check out their EP's news. And if you want to buy it, me and Cynthia will have extra copies. So can, uh, you know. I will be purchasing one. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> but let us know. This is all, honestly, like, this is all I've been listening to, all that I've been talking about. Like, I've been sending this to everybody and their mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same. This EP is so oh, good. <clears throat> this EP is amazing. Can't wait for the winter one. Woo! Same. I know. I'm ex- I'm actually really excited for the winter one. I'm wondering yeah, if it's yeah. going to be a full album because you know how they did the EP when they debuted, then the full album, then the EP. Mm-hmm. Now, is it going to be a full album? Hey, Ooh. Let's go. Ooh. I hope so. I wonder when they're going to release a two. Is it going to be in January? Is it going to be like what? I don't know, but I'm already, like, longing for more. It should definitely be January. I feel like January is, like, peak winter. They always do it, like, towards the start of the season. Mm -hmm. So maybe we shall (sighs) see. Stan Talent. Stan Lucy. Wow, wow, it's where you at. Wow, wow, it's where you at. (laughs) Uh, Well, that was our podcast for this week, everybody. If you are not simping for Lucy, please do so. Um, (laughs) Mm -hmm. But let's end this out with our songs of the week, like we always do, because, you know. That's our style. My songs of the week this week will be no surprise. One of them is Lucy Snooze. Yes. Yeah. Right. Incredible. Amazing. Uh, the second one is G Friends Mago because that shit been bumping. Like I, would, like, I went to sleep last night, listened to it, woke up this morning, listened to it. Just Mago, 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 Mago. Incredible. And uh, my third and final song because it never dies in my heart is Make a Wish. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. God. Mm-hmm. My song of the week, also Snooze and Farther and Farther by Lucy, but also Watermelon by Lucy, which is from their last album. I've been listening to that again. I've been listening to that whole album again, honestly, but uh, Watermelon, every time it comes on, I'm like, oh, yes, this is it right here. Um, My next song of the week is So What by BTS, (laughs) an iconic, iconic song, and I still remember that me, Terika, and Brittany looked like wet raccoons during this song (laughs) and it was great so if you were part of the love yourself concert you know what i'm talking about um my one the song of the week is hero because raven talks about it and i was like oh yeah i love that song and and i've been playing it nonstop again (laughs) oh yeah me too babe that's what that was oh yeah (laughs) Uh, i hate that i sent for that man so hard i hate it All right, my songs of the week. The first one is uh, Think of You by Taman from his oh, new right. album. Yeah. <sighs> Love that song so much. It's a great album. Just go listen to the whole thing. It's great. Um, my second song of the week is Flowering by Lucy, just because that was the very first song mm-hmm. that Carrie yes. listened to me, and I was just like, what is this genius? And like I said, it makes me cry all the time. Um, mm-hmm. But also just their whole discography. Just listen Same. to Lucy because they're Same. great. Just listen to it all. Yeah, yeah just listen to it all. Like, we've been in a Lucy mood because they released their new, like, EP, and then with Carolina and Cynthia getting into the fan side, I've just been listening to Lucy. Um... <laughs> 
my NCT song of the week is uh, From Home, because I love that song, but also Candlelight, because, it, like I mentioned before, it's the one-year anniversary of the Dream Show, and Chun-La has mentioned oh. that, like, Candlelight is a very special song to them, because it's the last song that they did as Seven Dream, before they just got back together with Deja Vu, Aww. and it's just, I know, it's just the sweetest thing, so he said that it's like, it's like their favorite song collectively as a group, because it's all of them together, so, yeah. So cute. Yeah, I know. Um, for my songs of the week, I've been listening to Lucy. That's it. Like their whole discography. I literally have a playlist that I just put all their music in there. Um, so I've been listening to that nonstop. But also, I've been listening to XOXO by EXO. Love that song. <laughs> Love that song. XO, XO, L O V A. Oh my God, I miss XO a lot. Same. I miss Dio. Dio. I miss Sorry, Dio not so to be much. that bitch, but I miss Kyungsu. Like, I miss him. When will my baby come back from war? <laughs> hopefully soon but yeah but those were my songs literally it's all lucy that's, that's it. so funny love and that. just lucy i love it incredible um so yes whether you are simping so fucking hard <laughs> so hard for lucy so hard we love them. why me and cynthia were recording our reaction and we were just like oh <laughs> like, why are we like this? <laughs> um, but whether you are simps for Lucy, whether you are hoes for NCT, hey. whether you are madly in love with Ha Sung Moon, <laughs> make sure you always, wow. always fangirl on.